each episode 3 if you're enjoying this like subscribe little pieces of time because max wants everybody to see That's how so she Totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You you bitch please step back you're kidding put that down please get me out of here Max! nobody cares about me nobody <laughs> what are you doing here max now i know today was difficult for everybody miss coffee why exactly were you on the route with kate marsh please tell us everything what the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Um, we're on three right now. Um, uh, last time we saw a little secret where we're in a uh, little clip of episode three. A little snip. Um, we're in a school at night. So, uh, do we see the, can we see the date real quick? Okay, we can't even look at our backpack. Alright. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. Come on, Max. No more tears. You have to act, not react. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth. And somebody pays for this. So much hypocrite. This is messed up too. People just write all this right after she dies. But be, be, but be mean to her before, not...
Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved. Like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. You were nice to Kate. That's all she needed from everybody else here. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Alright, we can go to Victoria's room then. Where's that at? Where's that at? Right here. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Victoria is about as straight as me, but she really appreciates style. First Rachel and now Kate, this is the end of the Vortex Club. Well, well, maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. There has to be some dirt in here on Victoria. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret, she's a geek. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Those boots are made for walking runways. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Victoria's Chase, Mr. Jefferson, Art Class, Blackwell Academy, October 1st, 2013, essay. Um, no, nothing evidence. By Victoria. No evidence there. Whoa, I had no idea. <sighs> nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid.
so Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Please don't destroy me. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Principal uh, Wells. What, what? Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. You have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I... I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but... God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I... I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Look at me. Feeling sorry for myself when Kate Marsh's family is in mourning. They'll probably sue the Academy right out of Oregon. Now I understand why the students call this place Black Hell. He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. Just me trapped. <sighs> ah, fuck. Max the ninja strikes again. Booyah! Freaking scary. Get it? Booyah. Me. Like I'm a scary punk ghost being on me. Well, like a scary and sensitive mm. asshole. What I say, Chloe, for? I watched my friend okay, jump off a roof on today. Whatever. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out. I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. <laughs> it didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's going to bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? I hope so, Chloe. But how? Snow and Eclipse are bad omens. This whole town is a bad omen. I noticed that Blackwell seems to be ground zero. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Of course. They're both sociopaths. More like psychopaths. At least David doesn't try to beat down women like Nathan. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's...
alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. Lies. Katie? Lies. I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know what's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so what will you offer to choose my photo for favors or something? As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Going in school. Oh, it's bad. Chloe the Keymaster. With security. You know we saw that we got- they got caught, I think. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. I showed the key. Security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Yeah, we'll look for it. Dead end. Pencils. Dead end. Nothing here. Those are files. I thought it was pencils. Boring. Crap.
Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No. And thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. I'm gonna go in the middle of the school. Okay. Alright, here's what I need. Any questions? This is a powder to great. Shoot, everybody knows that. So, are you really gonna try this? Keyword is try. I bow your wisdom. Okay, what do we need? Alright, we need sugar, a soda can, duct tape, and a soda. Okay, okay, this is what it looks like. First, we'll look for the. Alright, first, we need the soda can. The sugar and soda can. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. So then, sugar, sugar, sugar. Ooh, sugar. All right. Only five Only items. Three more items to go. So the can. So the can. So the can. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. Everything in this town yet? One, two, three, four, three, four. We have nine places to go, and we're only on episode three. Yeah, we all okay, we met all the people. Still, we're. It's two. It's Wednesday. Fridays when it happens. So. I use. We don't even have any money. Release the crackhead. Oh, we do. Brand new can. It's Cake. all mine anyway. What else do we need? You're we need. Let's go to back to the text. No, uh, we have two private numbers. Okay, Warren. Duct tape. And. I need duct tape. Halfway home, Max.
Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Oh, Kate. Your locker looks so lonely. So, I don't, how did you even know her locker? Just like, I would even remember that. There's thousands of them. Okay. Another one. Open us. Whose classroom is this? I never said they were great, troll. I never said they were great, troll. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. No, this mixture doth not work. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Max, if you can't find sodium chlorate in the science lab, give it up. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. I probably should find those items now. Only one more ingredient left. And that's tape. Don't know where that is. Okay, tape B. This is like a scene in a horror film. Oh, where are you? Mercedes, right here. Duct tape. That was easy. The tape is mine. Didn't need a video for that one. Finally. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Hopefully, she didn't open the door. Second of all, this is the first time we have never used a YouTube video for, uh, or I mean, a tutorial. Well, episode one we didn't need. Well, um, we talk about that now, but still, today, we're not using a YouTube video, no tutorial for to beat this episode, so, not today, buddy, not today, not today. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking. 
fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Rewind and find something. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle... have missed something. I should rewind. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with a rewind. Welcome to my domain. 
You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you you'd still be a Blackwell. That's Eat me. Jesus. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Hmm. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. I certainly can't use this. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Only two more files to go. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. Okay, so I sit down. Okay. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. You're not so tacky up close. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. And nothing here. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Before she dyed her hair. Hmm. Let's nab this. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? I know what that means. I'm Nathan is now. truly psychotic. Yeah, I've seen the episode. Four, I know he has something five, to do with Rachel missing. Four or five. Whoa! Listen to this. 
David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Steal the money, leave the money. Okay, if we steal the money... What could happen? I don't know. I never even heard about it. We're good people. I'm a good person. I'm gonna leave the money. But we'll come back to this when we um, beat the game. We'll do all the rest of the decisions. Alright. We're gonna leave the money. You really wanna take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. Boys or girls? Okay, I'm. Uh, if I was sure, I'd be probably nosy. So we're going we're gonna just. Okay, I'm just not gonna say none. Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I would love a soda, but I'd just get wired. Go Otters. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit.
I guess I should consider this evolution. I guess I should consider this evolution. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. In case I run out of air, I know where to go. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Yes, we get it. Otters. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Okay, she got undressed like mad quick. Okay, no questions at all. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh, she's okay. You know. Oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Damn. That's the tiniest flash. Why ever. look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. She did. Okay. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. If I had, what if I had? Thank God. But what if I had? What if you and Kate would both be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. 
one is nice. You're the killer. You're bro killer. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and two. You did not just say that. Dang it. Plus, I am not yes, down with these Arcadia yeah. Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Dies after five minutes. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. my power or just look for a hiding spot or both where are they where are they hello Anybody there? Better not. Better not. Try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Hey! I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Hey!
We are so invisible. Let's bail. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. Why'd you get caught by like the randomest person ever? Watching me her dad, that'd be my funny. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. I'm gonna be right back, stream. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. They keep turning their lights off. I'm so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. With the sidewalk and the pigeons and my window reflection. The mask I polish in the evening by the morning looks like shit. No, you have a heavy heart. I 
can feel it when we kiss So many men stronger than me Have thrown their backs out Trying to live Okay, I need to get dressed now. And if you promise to stay conscious, I'll Ugh, try still reeks like a chlorine smile. factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hall. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. Sure At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Hmm. 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 She said double. Okay, if she didn't say double dare, I'll say no. But she double dare. I don't want her to. I don't want her to look like that. She has no guts. So um. I'm gonna do it. I wanna see what happens if we don't, though. But, eh, I could be Ron anytime, you know what I mean? So, uh. I'm just. Let's see, huh? Let's see. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh, man. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. Thank you, thank you. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? <laughs> Wait, love is out. How far can we rewind for? I can only go so far back in time. Okay, this looks sick though. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. Oh, at least we haven't been to have to go. Especially since Kate's parents aren't going to bury her here. Damn. The I fact can't. that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Okay. Miss, uh, I want to thank you. 
Oh, it's her. It's her mom or dad, I think. I'm never gonna know that. Yeah, yeah, I could read that. I'm just gonna do that. Oh, that was good. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Oh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Some pancakes, my guy. I'm dying for saying pancakes. a flame of pancakes. Oh, I should have missed those. Listen, listen. Ah, you ate more than William. And he loved them. Pancakes. <laughs> We would erase each other to grab them from a stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. If the milk ran out yet, hope your dad went to get the milk. Let's see, let's see if he, let's see if he came back with the milk. Let's, let's have a look. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Where's the milk? Where, 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 where's the milk? Oh, the eggs came always come right first, in. as Joyce used to say. Come on, with, with. Oh, he came out with the milk. Huh. Now for the mother's milk. Surprisingly. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Rachel okay? Is Rachel mad at Chloe? Rachel's in trouble? Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is, smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> Go sit at the table. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. What is that in her arm? Oh, it's, oh yeah, that's what I say. Bussin, bussin. No, that's what I call pancakes. 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 Seeing you again, 
Ah, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering, or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Magic 8-Ball says no. Nothing to see here. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Then might be an angel to somebody else. That's cute. Could be a password here. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. Why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad and mad.
Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Side with Dad, side with Chloe. Oh my god. Dad's kind of messed up. We have to like yell at him. We could remember we were going to come back eventually. If I was her. It's kind of messed up though. I'm going to side with Chloe. You're a bully, David! I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David! You better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything. For his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't. 
can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. What the hell is this? Ugh, gross. Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. Locked. 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 Damn, there has to be food for you somewhere. Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals? Holy shit. This is so creepy. These flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Two? I thought the dad was a security guard. morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. I could chug this beer, or dump it on Frank. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you.
You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! Oh, that's funny. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Clear town. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Your father. Drugs for sale? I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Hey. Holy shit. What do you want now? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Holy shit, what do you want now? Your sugar daddy will always protect you, and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. <sighs> Holy shit, what do you want now? Listen, Nathan, I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. <sighs> Holy shit. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. <coughs> what the fuck now? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? 
Or are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. And I'll back off. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Holy shit. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. We'll chat later, Max. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. No need to go there now. No reason to go now. What the fuck? What the fuck? By the way, Frank. <laughs> but... But nothing. We'll chat later, Max. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time. But... But nothing. How you doing, Maxine? Thanks, officer. I'm glad you're...
Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Rachel? Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. Get a new outfit. I shouldn't have said that. And leave me alone. I'll need to rewind. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. <coughs> I have the keys. Time to bounce. No reason to go now. No reason to go. No reason to go now. No need to go there now. My work here is done here, Frank. Thanks for the help, dickhead. I have the keys. Time to bounce. No need to go there now. No reason to no reason to no reason no reason to go. No reason no reason to go. No reason no reason to no reason no reason to no reason to go now. Maybe we all did. Shit. What are the other signs then? I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that.
he brought. Now back to Chloe. Watch out! Quick thinking, Max. Whew. That was close, we Alyssa. Saved like ten times. Okay, Max. We this really is the third her. time you've saved oh, me from harm's time. way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. I saw you try and save my friend Gate on that roof. The only one who did. While well, people took camera pics. Was my friend. Kate was my friend too. I would have done anything to save her. Everybody saw that. I'm proud of you for being so brave. You're pretty cool, Max. That's not how I feel today, but thanks. We need to hang out more. Drink some wine. I have to go, but let's talk later, cool? There, maybe a trophy for if he saved her like multiple times, but. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! <laughs> Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. Get it to the road. Well, let's he not waste time. The car, so I'm not doing that. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Can't quite picture. Frank is almost a made for TV hoarder. This place is nasty. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Of course Frank gets the munchies. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. No more secrets. It's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Crappy wife out here. Must take him days to download the porn. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Is Frank going to deal online now? How can somebody live like this?
Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. No prize here. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Curses, nothing here. Oh shit, the knife is broken. And it pried open. Whoa, what the I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Ooh, Frank's stash. I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're dumb. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm, trouble in paradise. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe!
He just threw the keys up there. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Nobody's fault, right to Frank. Go up. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel better about my fucked up life, get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? Oh yeah, David? You blame David? I said my dad. My real father, who got himself killed for nothing. Not the human placeholder for Joyce. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Oh my god. What is <gasps> happening now? Oh, I saw this. I remember this from a YouTuber. Wait a minute. We can. Okay, I'm not actually not. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Daddy. 
Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crepes. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat, breakfast. how? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Chloe is just so damn happy and carefree. And this is the last time unless I change it. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Stay back from the keys. <gasps> Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me! That makes all of us. <laughs> Try not to destroy much of the house. And nope. Careful, Max. Careful, Max. Careful, Max. Careful, Max. William can totally see you. Score! Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Max, this is not the best time for a prank. Keys, please. Uh, I was just... Um, are you sure Joyce is ready? Uh, let's just, let's just wait. I, um... Uh, sorry. Here. I'll get you back someday. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting.
What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious... I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Yes, sir. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Really wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Yeah, it's people in Oregon Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe.
Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Tell me that she went into a car crash. <sighs> we done, bro. That's it for this episode. And uh, so before, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say the outro and uh, and when. Dark room. I think I remember this. Oh, wait, this is one day before the storm. Alright, hope you all enjoy. Get ready for night next episode. Remember to hit the bell so you get notified. Or subscribe. See more. More videos like this. Stay tuned. Leave a like. Helps me a lot to make more videos. Peace out. God bless.